the University of Waikato Lifetime Achievement Award. Professor Peter Molan. The most satisfying thing, the thing that I've got most out of was, was what just started as a hobby sideline. Peter Molan is a scientist obsessed with Manuka honey. I mean, it, it's almost consumed my life. I just find it so interesting that I aren't enough hours in the day. One of the scientists we can thank for the renewed interest in honey's healing powers is New Zealand-based biochemist Peter Molan. There's a piece of dressing pad that's had honey soaked into it. And you can see quite a long way away from that, it's stopping the bacteria from growing. I'm professor in biological sciences at the University of Waikato and I teach biochemistry of been there for more than 40 years. When I first came to Waikato, uh, I had been working as a lecturer in a dental school at the University of Liverpool in Britain. In the meanwhile, I started a bit of a sideline, almost hobby interest, which I was put on to by Kerry Simpson, who was a biology teacher, head of science at Otrahunga College. He knew I was working on antibacterial substances and he told me that honey was used as an antiseptic and Manuka honey had a reputation of being much better than other honey. So the next thing was to look at the superbugs, the antibiotic resistant bacteria, and we were able to show that honey was very effective against all of those. And that's when the medical profession did start taking it seriously. I developed the first honey dressing, soaked the honey into, injected it into dressing pads. We did a trial on cases where nothing else was working, hadn't for years best modern, modern treatment, and those dressings worked extremely well. Uh, the wounds healed up very quickly. The satisfaction from knowing I've helped people who've had horrible wounds which they're suffering from and they're not healing and then honey works on them and when nothing else has worked, that's uh, very rewarding. <laughs>